Hey there, it's Nikas. Hey, a couple of you guys might have seen uh, last week, I took a little video of <laughs> me doing car repairs. Well, as it turned out, um, my headlight, which seemingly worked, uh, was all hooked up and I was on the road and everything and people kept flashing me high beams and and uh, it wasn't until I pulled into a, um, a particular parking spot where there was a, a, a wall just in front of me and I was able to see how my, my beams were actually aligned and one beam, the right one, which was not replaced was flat and low and the other one was just like wide and just all over the place and uh so i realized uh oh these things just aren't aligned um or some something's wrong so or the guy sold me the wrong bulb could be so um i stopped i got out i, I got in there and i kind of wiggled it as much as i could it was kind of kind of um i couldn't get in there and really really it was, something was blocking me um but, to my satisfaction, I believed I had tried to fidget with it and try to adjust it, and it did not work. So I went back to um, the AutoZone, which is where I got the, the things today, and I, I went in with my credit card, and I just said, hey, you know, I bought um, a headlight in here about a week ago, I used this card, and um, and I says, and if you come out, and I had the guy come out and look, and he goes, oh, yeah, that's just not right, and I said, yeah, I said, so I don't know what to do, you know, I'm on a limited budget, and what do I do? And he was just kind of like, well, nothing really to do unless you have the receipt. And I says, well, I use this card. Can you guys look it up by, you know, the, the transaction by my credit card? And, um, and they said, no. I said, what? <laughs> um, b being for sure that they were going to be able to do that, right? So in my head, there was this surety about how things were going to happen. And, um, and they weren't. And, uh, I says, uh, the guy says, well, I, I can't do that. I says, well, is there someone who can? He says, well, let me get the manager on duty. And so he got that guy. And that guy that was the manager on duty was the guy who sold me the bulb. And so I says, hey, I'm pretty sure it was you. We looked it up by VIN number, and you gave me that bulb. <laughs> I paid the, you know, 34 bucks. And and I says, you have him come look at him. And he went and he looked. He says, oh, yeah. And he goes, it just looks like it's not in there aligned right. And I says, well, you know, um, I did it. I says, and then I, I checked it again just to make sure knowing in my heart of hearts that I had made an attempt, a half-hearted attempt to do that. Um, and he goes, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. He says, do you have the receipt? And I'm like, no, I was hoping that you would be able to look it up by the card. And he's like, yeah, well, we can't. And I just said, well, I, what, what do I do? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for solutions here, hoping that somebody can come up with a solution that I don't have. And he says, yeah, um, I considered maybe just calling the general manager when he's in tomorrow and, and uh, talking to him. You know, maybe he can help you out. And I got in my car and I, I drove home and I just, you know, the whole way, I'm, um, this excitement is wanting to um, start up again. And just FYI, um, I started doing one ml of testosterone per week to start working out again and try and build up some muscle to get rid of this fat. Um so, chemically, there is a little um, uh, extra excitement going on inside here. And um, uh, I'm driving home, and I just keep, uh, let it go, just let, let it go, there's nothing you can do. And then the thought came, um, go home, take the whole assembly apart, put it all back together, see what happens. So, okay, I mean, this... Really, the only chance, the only thing I had to do tonight, the only thing I could do tonight, right? Because all my other options were, you know, n n not available. Um, but this thought came, go home and do that. So, okay. So, I come home, get on my extension cores, my little light, my little shop light shit, and um, get all my tools, do, 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 take all the stuff apart, this whole, you know, fender assembly to get the whole light housing out. I hold it up and uh, take it out, and then... Uh, try to stick it back in and I couldn't get it back in and it couldn't get it back in and so I took it out and I looked at how the the three notches were and the way I was trying to put it in was different it should be like uh should be like 33 degrees the other way and I was like huh I'm pretty sure I put it in that way the last time and uh so I I put it in in the the way that the all the notches lined up right put it in locked it in place and uh 
put up the headlight and the headlight now is shining in a beam it's not this 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 broad and um and i get it you know it was it was there was an error that was on my part you know um you know uh the mind wanted to just shift responsibility place blame do you know how, and and be all very questioning and um and uh and intuition told me what to do and i just said okay and i just said you know just uh, keep letting it go letting it go um so as soon as that happened of course came in and i'd gotten the guy's name to talk to he said here's my name tell him i was in that gave it to you and so i called the store and i i asked to speak to him and i i said hey it's he asked the guy with the headlight i says i just want to apologize i says i came home and um i took the whole assembly apart and i put it all back together slowly i says and it worked and he goes oh awesome man i'm so happy and i said you know and i i just thanked him I, you know i said I'm, I'm sorry that i was um uh confused and you know i, I am on a limited budget i don't have <laughs> you know fifty dollars a shot, uh, thirty-four ninety-nine, to 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 replace these bulbs. You know, it's just it's my income is doesn't allow for that, and uh, and uh, and he was just happy, you know. And I said, hey, tell the other guy that originally helped me that referred me back to him that it all worked out. So I don't know. I just wanted to kind of share this little story about um, things not working out, things not working out the way the self wants it right the the selfish self-seeking self-centered thing that things thinks should be a certain way realizing having the conscious awareness to realize wow this thing's really in a it's got its pants in a panties in a twist and realizing ah, just let, let go let go you know just not taking that thing too seriously but at the same time having a little uh you know chemical enhancement with my testosterone Really having to kind of go through the actual long exercise of <sighs> not just like, oh, <laughs> you know, it's done, but no, really have to go through the, oh my goodness, there's something that's beyond my control. What do I do? I take a surrender break. <sighs> I just let it go, let it go, let it go. So, so I had to kind of go through this longhand exercise of just really, really letting it go. Uh, but then again, of course, following the intuitive you know, the, the God voice, that still small voice that said, go home, take it apart, put it back together. And sure enough, <laughs> it all worked out. But then, of course, you know, just making sure that you, you honor that thing that just helped me out. Make sure I go back and make amends for, you know, where my, and, and I wasn't shitty at the store, but I wasn't, um, I was kind of acting panicky, you know. And, and, and I'm sure that wasn't coming across as... Uh, a nice customer <laughs> so anyway that's just my little story about um conclusion worry anxiety ah, intuitive direction do that it all works out <laughs> be well